Hello friends and welcome to this video tutorial myself professor NV. in this video tutorial we are going to create this part using Creo software so let's start click on file new part and take this default template you can give here the name click on ok and select MMNS part solid and absolute first we are going to create the rectangle plate so click on extrude select the plane sketch view first create the center rectangle having size 400 by 300 mm now extrude this plate symmetrical and giving the depth as a 50 mm next we are going to create the sweep cut using this spline command spline will be created using these four data points now click on sweep click this datum sketch select this plane surface click on sketch and sketch view now create a spline using four data points one two three and four we require to give the dimensions for all four data points by default these dimensions will be generated for two so click on dimension select this point and center line click middle mouse button similarly this data point and mid line again click middle mouse button and now we require to modify this dimension so these dimensions are first point dimensions are 130 100 and second point dimensions are 25 85 so give here 130 100 25 85 similarly this point dimensions are 45 60 125 115 In this way you need to create this spline using four data points with the given dimensions then click on OK. Click on this resume icon. Click on sketch and sketch view. At this intersecting point we are going to create a circular section having the diameter of 35. Now click on OK and click on remove material icon and then accept so in this way you can able to create this spline cut now we are going to create the pillars so select this middle plane and this pillar is symmetric so we are going to use the revolve command so click on revolve and sketch view give the references so this one and right hand side references we are going to give click on o close select the line command click the pillar profile and now give the dimensions this dimensions is 175 the vertical dimensions is 50 so click on dimensions this top vertex this vertex and middle mouse button give the dimensions as a 50 the diameter is 75 so we have to give 75 divided by 2 37 and the distance from this side is given as a 50 mm up to the center line so again click on dimensions this line with this edge give this as a 50 to revolve it around we require one center line so click on center line and create a center line click on ok it automatically gets revolve around that center line now click on ok to accept next we are going to join this pillar with this cross section having 75 mm dia so select again middle plane click on extrude sketch view create a circle having diameter 75 mm we have given the top distance of this circle from this edge so select the dimensions select this edge and circle and middle mouse button and give this as a 175 click on ok now extrude this up to the this surface so change this direction by clicking on the arrow and select here to next it will be extruded to the next surface click on ok to accept 
now we are going to create a mirror image of these two objects but it is not possible to select the two objects simultaneously so we are going to select these two object by using control key and then and make it as a group so click on this group icon it will be created as a group now these two atom will be get selected click on mirror select the center plane and click on ok to accept so in this way you can able to create this next we are going to create these two holes having the diameter of 50 and 55 for it we require to create one datum plane which is to be placed at 175 mm from this top surface so click on this plane select this top surface and give the distance as a 175 click ok now select this plane and click on extrude icon sketch view we are going to create these two circles one is having 55 diameter and second one is having 50 mm diameter the distance between that circle is 70 mm so give here 70 and this distance and this distance is equal so I am going to use the equality constraint so select this first one and then second one so it created click on ok and now we require to use the extrude cut so change the direction use the remove material and from here select to next so you can see that these holes will be get created now click on ok to accept now only the last thing remaining we require to remove the material so this taper section we have to remove so select this bottom surface click on extrude and sketch view now select this line command <coughs> we require this angle so this is the linear dimensions we don't need linear dimensions we require the angle as a 5 degree so click on dimension select this line this line and middle mouse button and give the angle as a 5 degree so click on dimensions this point and this line which is given as a 50 and this distance is given as a 65 so these two vertices 65 and we need to close it so again line command close this cross sections now click on ok <coughs> change this direction remove material and give the depth as a 25 click on ok to accept now again we require to create this mirror image so it is already selected as it shown in a green color so simply click on mirror select this middle plane and click ok to accept so in this way you can able to create this part model in creo very easily thank you for watching have a nice day